I just came back from Google I.O. and what I saw there blew my mind. If you've been watching my channel for quite a while, you know that uh, my team and I, we just started adopting a lot of AI tools because everything is moving at such a fast pace and we're not just tweaking workflows anymore. We're witnessing a complete transformation in how we live, work and create. I was able to experience Google Beam where you talk to someone in 3D and it just blew my mind away. It's like, it's crazy what's happening, but AI is not a threat. It's the greatest opportunity of our generation. And in this video, I'll show you how my team and I use AI every day to save time, money, and honestly, our sanity, whether it's content, sales, or building a business. From automating LinkedIn posts to generating viral video clips and even hiring team members, AI helps us do more with less. By the way, if you're new to this channel, my name is Marina. I'm Silicon Valley girl. I am someone who's been living in Silicon Valley for 10 years, who's super excited about everything AI, robots, and what's going on uh, in our world. So if you want to stay updated and to listen to my conversations with industry leaders, please subscribe to this channel. Seeing you subscribe gives me an amazing amount of energy to create even better content for you guys. I saw Sergey Brin talking um, at that conference and he said, we've never experienced such a transformation. And I feel like it's creating so many opportunities for all of us, especially if you're watching this video, it means that you're really interested in what's going on. So I'll share not just tools, but actual use cases, what works, what's overhyped and how you can start right now, even if you're a solo founder or content creator. And honestly, I feel like 2025 is actually the best year to start as a solo founder or a creator because you have so many AI tools that are waiting for you to start using them. But first, here's why this moment matters. At Google I.O., the message was clear. AI is now multi-model. It understands voice, images, code, and text in one conversation. It's not just reactive, it became proactive, personal, and powerful. They're talking about features when you're talking to AI using your camera, and it already sees that you're not liking the answer, so it changes the answer on the go. Like, it's crazy what's happening. And it's no longer about writing prompts, it's about tool calls, like send this email, Schedule that call. Summarize this meeting. Google calls it this agentic AI. It just doesn't answer, it acts. And the best part, we're still very early. The people who start building and experimenting now, they'll have a massive head start. One of my friends started a company last year and I remember a few months ago he was complaining it wasn't working. And today he sends me the screenshot you see the hockey stick? So last month they had 170,000 customers. Uh, this month they have over 600,000 customers. And it's been a year. Like it's crazy how fast you can grow in 2025. So let me show you nine tools we actually use across our content, team, sales, and operations. These are not hypotheticals, not future ideas. These are real tools and real results. First of all, my team actually loves Monica. And we love Monica, my manager, but we also love Monica as in AI. And we use Monica together with custom GPT agents. Tool one, Monica plus custom GPT agents. And it is something anyone can start using today. So Monica is a Chrome extension that works everywhere. Gmail, LinkedIn, Notion to summarize pages, rewrite replies, and even draft documents. And for bigger tasks, we train custom GPTs. ChatGPT has a memory where you can load all of the information about you, your products, uh, you can add your tone of voice. I have added all my measurements. I've added my astrological um, forecast. Just in case, you know, sometimes I have a bad day and I ask ChatGPT, is it me or is it the stars? And it says, oh, Marina, the stars, relax. <laughs> so. ChatGPT knows everything about me and this way it's able to make a lot of things personalized. And one GPT is literally called, what would Marina say? <laughs> so my team can write in my tone without waiting for me to reply. AI isn't just smart, it's personalized. And the use cases here are quick contract reviews, customer emails, posts on different social media platforms. Tool number two, it's chat PDF plus chat GPT for contracts and hiring. Contracts, PDFs, legal docs, they used to pile up and we used to work with a lot of different professionals. Now we upload them to chat PDF and ask chat GPT to highlight red flags, rewrite clauses, or just summarize things. It's like having a lawyer on Slack without the hourly rate. I also use voice notes to explain what I want in a reply and AI drafts the perfect partner email. And the result is that our hiring process is now 5x faster with better consistency. Let's take a quick break. Don't skip 
skip ahead because this is actually super useful. There is a free, easy to use AI website generator that comes with fast, reliable hosting. And yes, the entire thing is actually free. It's from HubSpot, who I'm partnering with for this video. Your website is one of your most powerful tools for growth, but building one without technical skills, that can get frustrating fast. This tool changes that. Answer a few prompts about your business and in seconds, you've got a sleek, modern site ready to go. No coding, no complicated setup, just real progress. Need to make changes? The visual editor makes customization simple. And behind the scenes, you're backed by built-in SEO tools, lead capture forms, analytics, and even AI content support, all working together to help you grow faster and smarter. And here's what sets it apart. It's not a limited trial. There are no hidden costs or upgrade traps. You get trusted hosting, free custom domain, and hundreds of themes. Think of your website as your store. Now think about how customers reach it. If the road's slow, broken, or blocked, no one gets there. That road, that's your hosting, and it has to be solid, fast, and reliable. That's it. With HubSpot, you can launch fast, scale easily, and stay focused on what really matters, building something that grows. Click the link in the description and start building your free, customer-ready website today. Tool number three, Opus Clip plus Gamma plus EasyGen. So at Google I.O. I heard something that I am taking away as a creator. Content is now infinitely remixable. What it means, you create one podcast or one video and you can use different tools to create different types of content from that one video. For example, if I release a podcast, I can make 10 different shorter videos and post them on YouTube. I can make short clips. I can make stories on Instagram. I can create a carousel for LinkedIn. I can create an X thread. There is so many things we can do with just one idea or one podcast, why not utilize that? Especially when everyone around you is using AI to create content. The, the, the game today is basically to flood every social media with uh, your content because we need six touches with our audience and we need to promote the content that we've put work into. And it's now easier to create different piece of content to promote what you're doing. So we use Opus Clip to turn one long form video into 10 short ones for Instagram, TikTok, and LinkedIn. Gamma helps us design beautiful presentations and visuals. These are actually great for um, not only decks and course materials, they're also great for video explainers when you are trying to teach people something and you need some visual materials. So instead of uh, adding them on post-production, we actually create a script in Gamma and uh, we have the slides ready and uh, it makes editing so much easier. And then EasyGen or Claude AI, they help generate high-performing hooks and posts on LinkedIn. Our copywriter, Sophia, swears by them. And uh, LinkedIn has been growing like crazy. Guys, if you're watching this video and you're willing to start on social media, I highly, highly recommend LinkedIn. And also the community is so nice out there just because um, everyone is using their real name. Uh, the, the comments are just so nice. Anyways, the use case here is that our copywriter created a 10K views post in 15 minutes using EasyGen. Tool number four, Otter or a co-pilot for TeamSync plus feedback loops. A couple of years ago, we would just write down everything we discussed on a call. Now, action items are generated automatically. Copilot transcribes our syncs, analyzes sentiment, and suggests follow-ups. This ties back to what Google I.O. emphasized. AI is an agent, not just a tool. It listens, it learns, and it helps you grow. The thing is, we no longer have any dropped ideas. We always know what we discussed and what's next. And also, if somebody wasn't present on a call, they have the whole thing for them. And uh, another thing that I love doing, and I also tried that at Google I.O., uh, you can use Copilot, you can use Auto, whatever. I record everything with my Apple Watch. <laughs> or you can use Plot. Um, it's like a necklace that you can use. I also have it, it's super cool. So you record, a talk during conference and then you send it to Otter and then you create posts. And another thing I found out I could do with AI is that when you go to conferences, the best part happens when you're talking to people in the corridors. So I actually met somebody who follows my channel and I asked him to uh, take my Apple Watch. He took my Apple Watch. He was in the front row. He was sitting with my Apple Watch recording a talk that I wanted to hear. Meanwhile, I was chatting with people in the corridor and then I took back my Apple Watch. I had everything recorded. I transferred this voice note to Otter, made text out of it. Um, then I copied the text into my GPT that created a post for LinkedIn. 
Let me show you this post. It was actually a talk about growing on LinkedIn. It got almost 6,000 impressions. I think it's really good for LinkedIn. Okay, let's move on to tool number five. This is where we use Trend, Eleven Labs, and HeyGen. This is our go-to stack for content localization and multimedia production. Trend transcribes video or audio files, but it's more than just a transcript. You can highlight and cut. The editors could work directly inside the interface. It's like editing a document and a video at the same time. Eleven Labs lets us clone my voice into Russian or English. Sometimes when I'm recording something and we need an intro and I'm traveling, they will just use Eleven Labs to do that. Sometimes uh, we do voiceovers, like I would record an interview on Silicon Valley Girl and I have my Russian channel and we really want to post that one in Russian as well. So we just use Eleven Labs to do the voiceovers. We used to pay hundreds of dollars to voice actors. Now um, it's just so much cheaper to do it with Eleven Labs and it sounds very nice. Natural. It allows us to scale voiceovers quickly and it also allows us to add emotion. And it's really easy if Eleven Labs mispronounces something, it's, it's an easy fix. And then HeyGen is the final step. We use it to generate dubbed or translated videos, it handles lip sync, subtitles, and even creates avatars if needed. So we use this exact stack to dub our interview with Reid Hoffman into Russian. The result, same quality native language, 10x faster turnaround, and almost 200,000 views in another language, which is amazing. Tool number six, gong.io or chorus.ai plus Tableau slash Power BI. Let's shift into sales and performance. Chorus AI and Gong IO analyze sales calls and client conversations in real time. They detect tone, keywords, and even sentiment and generate feedback on what to improve. Some even update your CRM automatically with insights from the call. For reporting and dashboards, we integrate Tableau or Power BI with our CRM. This lets us track results, visualize trends, and get real-time data with almost no manual work. So the use case is our sales team uses Gong to understand why deals close or don't, and Tableau to report weekly outcomes across the team without touching any spreadsheets. Till number seven, Gemini for Google Sheets. Oh my God, Gemini is so powerful. If you work in spreadsheets and who doesn't, try this. Gemini for Sheets lets us summarize form responses, especially great if you're hiring, analyze data, even generate formulas right inside Google Sheets. Our team uses it to sort student feedback, summarize onboarding notes, and even create images with Imogen. It's like having a data analyst inside every tab. Tool number eight that our thumbnail designer absolutely loves, Adobe Firefly plus AI in Photoshop. So our designer, is uh, her name is Marina as well, uh, now does in minutes what used to take hours background removal, color matching, adding visual flair, all automated with AI in Adobe Photoshop and Firefly. She even uses ChatGPT to brainstorm visual styles. AI doesn't replace creativity, it removes the friction, especially now that we're trying to make at least 20 thumbnails for every video. It's just so easy to dress me up in different clothes, to replace background and put an airplane behind me. Like it lets us become so creative. I just love it and it saves a lot of time. And Marina has been with us for, I think, five years. And uh, it's just amazing to see her progress uh, with AI. Then, of course, Google I.O. Notebook LM, the viral tool that lets you create a podcast out of any document. Plus Vio, I'll show you what I generated with Vio. It just blew my mind away. And Google Meet. These are the last tools that I wanted to recommend in this video, and they're very futuristic and a little mind blowing. And they were just introduced at Google I.O. So Notebook LM, you probably heard of it. It's the, the podcast revolution. This is the Google's viral feature that turns you documents, slides, and notes into a podcast style conversation. You can ask it questions, get summaries, or even generate full dialogues from your content. I genuinely believe this is the future of podcasting. Fully scripted, interactive, and generated from your own content. Perfect if you're short on time and always on the go. So this feature has already been around for a while. I just wanted to let you know that you need to start using it. If you're creating content, like it's crazy. Like the podcast that people make, um, like, learn English with this English conversation, they get hundreds of thousands of views and they're 100% AI. And my videos, <laughs> I'm just complaining here, my videos that I create in my studio and we edit, they get 30,000 views. I'm, I'm just so upset. Anyways, some of them get 30,000, some of them get a million views, but still, I'm like, I'm very jealous. We're launching a lot of AI channels within 
what I'm doing because we have to compete with ourselves in order to not get replaced by AI. Anyways, the O3, audio meets video. The standout announcement from Google I.O. 2025 VO3 breaks new ground as the first AI video generator to deliver synchronized audio alongside visual content. This isn't just background music. We're talking about realistic speech, environmental sounds like traffic noise or bird song, and actual dialogues between characters. Currently available only to US users with Gemini Ultra subscription, this represents a significant leap forward in AI-generated media, but just try using VO without sounds. So what you see here is an AI video that I generated. I have this passion for airplanes and uh, underwater world. I love snorkeling and interacting with fish. Well, interacting with fish doesn't interact with me, but just like uh, seeing amazing creatures underwater. And I decided to just make them meet in a video. And VO3 made this in 15 seconds. It's beautiful. And when I saw this update and recorded my emotions, when I was actually witnessing uh, Sundar Pichai, was Sundar I think presenting it, that video got millions of views everywhere. But anyways, Google Meet is now breaking language barriers. So they basically announced new real-time speech translation feature. Again, it is available to Google AI Pro and Ultra subscribers, but it basically translates between English and Spanish during live calls with additional languages on the horizon. And it's so seamless and it's so, so good. For global teams and multilingual creators, this eliminates one of the most persistent barriers to effective collaboration. Imagine having someone from Japan, Russia, uh, United States, uh, Egypt on the same team, speaking different languages and uh, just understanding everyone. This, this is our future. And this whole video is not about like using AI to save time. It does save time, but it's about creating space to think, build and move. And as many people at Google said, we're still early. You don't need to wait. You just need to start. Let me know which of these tools are most exciting for you uh, and uh, which ones are you going to start using after this video. Comment below. Let me know what your workflow looks like and I'll feature the best workflows in the next video.